Hello and welcome. I'm the Restless Kaiser and today I'm over here. We can see each other, it's weird. Mm. And I'm Clueless Mike and I'm over here. But together we are Modeling for Advantage. Well, Mike, what have we got here? So looks it looks like Warhammer. It does. It looks like we're playing 40k, but we're not. We're not. We are playing Grimdark 40k, which is a one-page rule system. They right. do fantasy. They do firefight. I think they might do a, a kind of like wasted uh, post-apocalyptic They've got setting. settings. Yeah, they've got a few settings, mm -hmm. but it's basically 40k with the numbers filed off. Um, it's a really simple rule. It's a one-page rule. There are literally all of the rules are on one page. It's double-sided. It is double-sided. Well, these are all the rules for my army. They're on one, one single-sided, um, and it's really simple. 40k. It's it bears a semi-resemblance to fifth edition 40k. It uses a few of the rule things, but it's it's a really simple game, and it's a way to get all your models on the table um, using those rules. Um, they come with a free army building app. It's got all the units you'll find in 40k inside the app, so you just knock together an army and play a game. And that's what we're going to do today. All right, let's have a look at the armies a bit closer. Well, well, well Mike, what have we got here? Do you, want to, do you want to give us a tour of the forces? Oh, I shout it. I'm not going to give you the grim dark names, because obviously <laughs> for copyright purposes, they're not allowed to use the 40k names. But okay. I have some infiltrator marines here. These are slightly lighter space marines. I've got a librarian in there. Oh, right, a wizard. A mm. wizard in there. I have my light attack walker, or dreadnought. That doesn't look that light. <laughs> it's not that light. It's pretty chunky. He's not bad. Uh, he's got a big flamethrower. These are our close combat space marines at the back here. Right. Yeah. I have three eradicators. They've got great big melter guns. They're pretty deadly. They're my main thing for killing your tank. Uh, Hidden yeah. behind here is Ooh. my army leader. Oh. And he has three aggressors with flamers with him. And they are my best unit. They're really good in close combat. The leader is pretty spicy in close combat as well. So they're going to try and make their way up that uh, crowded section of the board there. So that is my force. So uh, these guys, these six guys here, that's a character embedded in the infantry. It is. And they're already on an objective. They are. They, they have a deployed. scout move, so they get to move 12 inches at the start of the game. So they have moved up to sit on that objective and hopefully won't get wiped out turn one. Alrighty. So uh, there are four objectives. There is another one just here. It's these collections of barrels yeah. and crates. And for this game, we'll play so that touching there. the objective counts as kind of like putting one towards there. control of it. And there's another one in here, just in there. Um, now I've brought out the Imperial Guard, who've not been out for a while, and the paint jobs are a bit ropey, I've got to say. <laughs> so I've got a heavy weapon squad back here, and they've got, what are they, what weapons so are they So they're called? armed with auto cannons, basically, yeah. for this purposes. You've got a sentinel there with a heavy flamer. Um, the vehicles in Grimdark are much more potent than they are in 40k. They're a bit more like how you would imagine them to be. So even a thing like a sentinel mm -hmm. is actually pretty survivable and is pretty useful at most things it tries to do, yeah, much more so than it would be in 40k, where it was just um, basically about as much use as a Space Marine. I actually quite like that. I think Sentinels are quite good for the points, but anyway. Oh, they do, uh, they do have stuff, but they're not particularly chunky not tough. or powerful. No, they're no. They're useful. Yeah, so I've got a, a, a Lehman Rust tank that here. That is the most powerful thing on the board. <laughs> it, it is terrifying. Uh, a squad of guys with plasma guns here. Yep. Which is Red Command. I have yellow command over here, and they're just 10 goons. Yeah, they have flashlights so <laughs> yeah. to uh, shine at me. And then I have a 10-man squad, which has got my commander in it, and he's got a pair of flamers, and they are in the APC or Chimera here. So I reckon we're going to get, you know, the red ones are going to lose. So let's roll on. Let's hope not. Round one. Round one. It's not my turn, your turn. It's alternating activations, yeah, yeah. right? Yeah, I move a unit, you move a unit, and you do everything at once. So my unit will move, and it will shoot, and it will close combat, and then that unit's turn is done, and then you'll have a unit's turn. Very simple in that regard. Right, so should we roll two dice, see who gets the first action? Yeah, so let's go. Uh, I got a three. Seven for me. Lowest wins, right? Yeah, no, that's not how it's going to work. Boo! So everything moves six, unless it has the fast quality or the slow quality, which would make it move a bit faster. Ooh. So I am going to start off by moving these six. When you move stuff, you can do basically three things. You can move and shoot, you can double move and not shoot, or you can double move and get into combat. 
very simple. There's nothing within 12 of this unit, so I am just going to double move it up to here and then hug a bit of the wall in the hopes that I am blocking a little bit of line of sight there. And that is the first squad done. If you had loads and loads of units on the table, you should put a little marker down saying it's moved, but I'm pretty sure we can remember our seven units. Sweet. I'm gonna get Mullen on this side of the table. So uh, I'm gonna activate this unit. That unit that I didn't notice as I was moving them. Uh, no cover there. One, two, three. <laughs> Zero cover there. So this is three auto cannons, right? Three auto cannons. So oh, counts as auto cannons. You have your nice game. little sheet over there somewhere, and it will tell you. Some I have my sheet stats. over there somewhere. Oh, I'm it. hidden it off the board. Here we go. Here we so go. It'll basically, in. a weapon will have three stats. Mm -hmm. It'll have its range. It'll have its attacks, which is basically how many shots each one makes, mm -hmm. and then it'll have an AP value, which is. So I've, it modified to the armor. So I have A3 and an auto cannon. So that's nine shots from that unit. Nine shots. And I'm it's got AP2. These were quite expensive when I was making the army up. Yeah. I imagine they're pretty deadly. <laughs> well, so when I shoot, I don't have loads of different numbers. I just have a quality. You just have a quality. And, and which is five up. Five up. So you're hitting on fives. Hitting on fives. No modifiers. No modifiers here. Pew, pew, pew. I've got unos dos tres, three hits. Oh, so what is the AP of your weapon? Two. AP two, so this squad have a two up save because they are normal primary space marines. These um, are not normal ones, these have got edge highlight in my They do, now. yeah, I've spent some time on these bad boys, so I'd prefer if you didn't just kill them. So two up, three <laughs> um, up, so I've got a four up save. Both mana fine, the autocannon just about the ripped third hit? off. Oh, the third hit, you know it's gonna fail now. So I'm rolling it, except no. I've wasted all my good die rolls there. Uh, boo! Yeah, just right. ricochet I, I'd like off. to use that one again. That, haha, if only. So let's see, what am I going to do? I'm going to take shooting. This guy's got 18 inch range, so I'm going to move them slightly, but I want to stay next to the objective. So another thing worth talking about here is that, that librarian, that wizard, he's part of that. Characters he get attached is. to squads. They do. At the start of the game, you deploy them as part of the squad, and he doesn't get to leave and join other squads. So he's basically the last man to die in that particular game. Yeah, unit. very much. So you get to cast psychic powers at any point before you attack with the squad. So before you move on. It's like a free move, action. As just they get to cast it. Um, they have a psycho level, more or less everybody has psycho level one. He has six different powers to choose from. Each of them has a number, the easiest being four plus, the hardest being six plus. You roll a dice, you add your psycho level. So I need a three to cast my simple power, a five to cast the higher power. I'm gonna have a quick look. Most of mine are quite close ranged and quite killy. I've got a 12 inch range power, which I think which I'm definitely out of range. To see if I can do maybe down there. Yeah, nothing within 12, so I'm not gonna be casting anything this round. He could buff my, a unit that's gonna charge in, but none of my units are gonna charge, so we're not gonna do that either. So we're just gonna take some pot shots with the squad at your Sentinel, because these have 18 inch range. And they can damage the Sentinel with their rifles. They can, because everything can damage anything in this, because right sixes are always a success, and ones are always a fail. Uh, these guys have, so I look at my um, blood infiltration squad, they mm. have five marksman carbines, one shot each, but it's rending is a special rule. So on a six, it gets AP four. Oh, right. There's no AP normally, but on a six, it gets really good AP. No sixes there. And these, because they're the infiltration squad, they are basically low quality space marines. They only have four plus quality. So it's two, two hits, hits, no AP against And I Sentinel. have defense on the light walker is two up. More or less every vehicle has a two up save. So they're all so pretty good. tough. No damage. Ping, 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 ping. Over to you. Sweet. Pre-measuring is allowed because it doesn't Pre -measuring say it's not. Pre-measuring is allowed. So I've got a 12-inch range with this, and they're 18 away. They're within 18. So yep. I'm going to activate my walker. Fort you might. Uh, but then your walker might murder me if uh, I come out of my cover position. I mean, he's got a big old flamer as well, but it doesn't have much AP, in, as you just is that saw. Is only shooting? Uh, so he's got a grenade launcher, which is not very good either. All right, okay. So then I will I will stumble across here. This, this unit has a load of upgrades I could buy for it, but I was short on points, so it and I'm hasn't gonna... got ammo for half its guns. These are the crap ones. No, those are the crap ones. These are the crap ones. These are one worse in all their stats. Which one is... worse in all their stats. All right, so I'm within 12, so I'm going to burn them. You're going to burn them. That does not sound good Two, for me. Two, four. This is get 12 shots. Yeah, Six. this is pretty dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> Two more. <laughs> Two more for you, sir. But I still have to make a quality roll, right? You do, right? it's no auto-hitting. They yeah. make up for that by just giving the flamers a lot of shots. Yeah, so that's a four arm. Yeah, the vehicle is a better quality for the guard than the um, infantry are. Oh, mine aren't. No, there's a lot of ones Three, there. Four, five. That's only slightly below average. 
What's Five the AP? AP1. AP1. So that takes these to a defense. Burnham. Four plus. Oh dear, I'm not liking this much. So Yay. I have lost two models. Get in there. So I'm going to take those two off of there and just. You see that chicanery down. is extending the range by taking an. Yeah, yeah, yeah two away. right arm. Pro move, mate. Pro if move. I had gone underneath half of my starting strength, so that started with six. If I had gone to three or less, I'd have to make a quality check, which is a morale check, to see if I would be pinned. Uh, so luckily, haven't as yet. But if the Kaiser manages to kill one more model, I will have to make a check. Nice. Okay, over to me. Um, I'm going to have a quick look at my giant light walker. It's got 12 inch range. I can't believe that's a light walker. You're going with that because it's the open canopied one. Yeah, I've gone with that because I didn't have points for the Because mine's one. a light walker. Yeah. But with less guns. Uh, yeah, well, mine's a blood light walker. So. Right. Okay. It's a bit better. <laughs> um, I'm not going to get in range of anything, and I need to get up the field with this guy. So I'm just going to double move him round to there and getting a nice bit of cover in the way of the lemon rush shooting at me. So the lemon rush can come to here? Yep. Yeah? Yep. You you measure from weapons though, so whether it can Do all you? weapons. Oh, yeah. no, it's a bit old school in that regard. Yeah, yeah, a bit more old school in that regard. Does that mean this one has to shoot that way? They can only shoot at what they can see, so you so measure either side from matter. it. Yeah. yeah, okay, cool. Over to you. Uh, right. Well, I think I'm going to activate the Lehman Russ. Yep. Uh, so if I move it over here... I reckon the last cannon can see me, and the battle cannon can see me, and one heavy bolter can see me if you're going for my walker. I definitely want to kill the, the walker. That yep. looks really stompy. The one thing I'll say about this game is weapons are... Every weapon can hurt anything. But weapons are very much, you want to use the right tool for the right job. Yeah. Okay. Like a LAS cannon will have the deadly quality, meaning it does more than one damage per hit. So right. that's really good versus multi-wound models yes. like that. The battle cannon, you have to look at, see what stats it's got. Like blast the... is no use versus a big model. Uh, battle cannon it... has got blast three and attacks two. So it's better at shooting at space marines than yeah, it is so at shooting the big things. Yeah, so two attacks. If he hits with both of them, each of those gets multiplied by your blast rating as long as the thing you're targeting has at least that many models in. So a blast three against a squad of five, each one will do three hits, but a blast three against a single model like the walker will only ever do one hit. Right, okay. So we'll fire the laser cannon at the walker. Yep. We'll fire the heavy machine gun at the walker. Yep. And we'll fire the blast from the top gun at these space marines. Ooh. Okay. Split fire. Why not a full split fire? Heavy machine gun over here. <laughs> top gun against these. Last cannon over here. And this heavy that machine one gun there is going to go guys. So that one's going to get minus one to hit because I'm in cover there. You're in cover there, yeah. All right. So we'll start with the machine gun over here. At my poor little dude, if you kill one of them, I'm on a quality check. Now, interestingly, this describes it as a twin heavy machine gun. I'm supposed to fire them both at the same time. Oh, possibly. Yeah, so twin, so we'll say three attacks each because it's got six there. Okay, all right, so we got three over here. So it is uh, AP1 and it's got quality four. So that is three hits. Oof. AP1, so I'm down to four up saves. And I've made all three of them rolling a four on each dice. I think, I think that these dice are a bit shaky. Yeah, yeah, he's using the same one as me, you'll notice. N no, you're using a, a different one. Right, laser cannon mine. against the walker. Yep. Uh, that's a six. Oh. That's a hit. And a six, and it's deadly three. And what's and the AP3? AP3, so I've got defense two up, so three up, four up. I need a five. And that's that a cock nice? dice, so we shall roll another. Oh, that's failed. So, so deadly three is three damage. Three damage. And I have tough nine, so I'm down to six. Oh, tough nine. Oh, so my light walker's only tough six, whereas yours is yes. tough nine. Uh, I, ah, there's so nine. they're not all the same, that's just the class. That's, it's just whatever name it's got, they just yep. happen to call them the same on that thing. So I'm down to six wounds on that bad boy. All right, that was the, so the top gun is the battle cannon is attacks two. Yep. But it's got blast three. So because you're targeting a squad of at least three models, every hit turns into three hits. So that's six shots. So, so you roll two attack dice, but every hit is three. Oh, hits. right, each hit is three. Yeah. So it's fours, right? Yep. That's oh. Six hits. What's the AP? The AP on the battle cannon is two. Oh, so I've got defense two, so I'm on defense four. Oh my lord. That's four dead four space dudes. marines. We have one dude left with a thunder hammer and I will have to take a quality check to not be pinned. As I Ooh. said, the tank is is very deadly. <laughs> 
so you have to make a quality check. Quality of those is three up, but they have the fearless rule because they're Space Marines giving them plus one on morale checks. So two up. So it's a two up. Space Marines are pretty solid. This. He rolls the two. We're fine. Ready, huh? Uh, and then there was the machine gun over here. So yep. this was three dice at those guys at the back. Hitting on fives because you said they were One hit. And I saved it save. nicely. That was the tank active. Okay, so I'm going to quickly measure. So these guys at the back are my best anti-tank unit, certainly at range. I am out of range there. Yes. So I am just going to run forward and hope I get first activation next turn. So Are you going to literally run? Well. He's going to bomb gonna, it upfield. I need to deal with that tank. Imperial Guard, because it's a quality check, he's got a four up. If I can deal half damage to the tank, which is possible with those, then he might fail the check and have to be pinned in that round. So vehicles can be pinned just MVP. like MVP. And, and in round one. Yeah. How much points does that thing cost? We're playing 1,500. That's 415 points. So you can see that's pretty chunky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Over to you again. Uh, Want to activate this again? If only you could. <laughs> okay, uh, this squad of bros, um, oh, they got they got moved for a photograph earlier. So there's no reason not to move and then shoot, is there? Yeah, no reason not to. So we'll move, we'll move up. I imagine there might be some weapons in the game that have a be stationary to fire them rule, but we don't have any here. Assuming we're getting within 24 there. Is that yep. my range for uh, plasma guns and rifles? Rifles 24. Uh, where's the one with plasma? Plasma 24 also. So pla let's do the plasma shots. Yep. Pew, pew. See if they hit. Uh, no. no chance. And then there are seven rifles. Because the sergeant's got a pistol. These traitor guardsmen firing Two at hits. their uh, space marine brethren. Uh, no AP, I'm guessing, on a flashlight, so no, no one's, one's wrong there. money. Pew, pew, done. Over to me. I've only got one squad left because I am outnumbered heavily. Um, I am going to charge forward and get on this objective. I can oh, just you've got another squad of marines hidden over there. Uh, these are probably my best close combat marines. Calling shenanigans here. So they're going to go there and get on the objective. The objective control is done by you have to be controlling the objective and have no enemy controlling the objective at the end of the full turn. So if Kaiser moves one model up there and touches it, I don't have control. Um, so that's how objective But you keep control, control after you've Once it. I've gained control, I I have control of it until you have control So currently of it. you're on three and I'm on one. Yeah. If the game ended now, you'd win. Well, I haven't actually left anyone on this one as yet because I wanted to get them up there in range. But you said once you have control, you have... But at the end of a turn, you gain control of oh, it. Oh, so, so I haven't gained start control with it. of it as yet. Right. But right. I'm going to have to come back and get it later in the turn or maybe send my single Thunderhammer <laughs> dude back. So I've got transport with hombres on board. Yep. And I've got a set of dudes with flashlights over here. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to... This is going to move six yep. over here. Out to there. And it's going to take shots across there. Yep. You leave my anti-tank guns alone. So the light APC has got a laser machine gun and a heavy machine gun. So let's go. Laser machine gun has got three attacks at AP3. Oh, so yeah. that's the top gun. That's the top gun. That's supposed Jeez, to be a multi-laser, multi -laser, yeah. yeah? So that's three attacks. Uh, quality is four. Two hits at AP3. Oof. I have failed both of them. Does that mean you've lost two guys? No, these are tough three. So each of them oh. has three wounds. So they're pretty good. So then I've got a machine gun, which is three attacks at what uh, AP1. So let's see. There's another hit there to deal with. Because that no, might be the... If I fail that, that would save me. No, no I passed that. You need another coloured dice. So I'm just going to get out a little dice from her. Blue Command is in there with the officer. Okay, I have no more units to activate, so it is over to you. Uh, so the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to move up Gold Squad. They're just going to run behind this next container here. And these are the guys with just rifles. So they've got nothing to shoot at. And that, I think, takes us to the end of round one. Yes. No fail pinning checks or anything. There we go. Round two. Round two. So the person gets first action if they finished the last round earlier. So the person with less units gets to go first. It's kind of a bit of a catch up mechanic. If you've had loads of your units killed, you'll have less units and thus get to fight back. But it also helps elite armies a little bit at this stage. So I get first action, which I kind of knew was going to happen, which is one of the reasons I ran these forwards. And well, let's try and melt ourselves a big tank. They will just move forward a little bit there. And then they will open fire. Let's see what these guns do. 
so these are my blood eradication squad. You can see what they're trying to do. They're going to eradicate the blood of my They tank. have three fusion rifles, which mm. are deadly three. And Ow. the squad itself has the relentless rule, which means if I roll a six to hit, then I get an additional hit. Or, no, I get to roll an additional attack, so it's not necessarily a hit. Right. So let's see. So three attacks. Oh, oh my god. Oh my days. Oh, hit dear, on threes? That, oh, I hit on threes. I rolled three twos. That that is bad. <laughs> that is bad. And in this, I have I up this. flopped myself out there, as it were, and somebody's going to chop it's it like, off. Let's get him. And then the, the, the gun just goes, doo, the safety's powers off. <laughs> <laughs> they pull oh, the no. trigger and the magazine falls out or yeah, something. I was not planning on that. <laughs> no, no. I was getting nervous about them. I yeah, I, well, they're pretty good. <laughs> they're pretty good. But do you know what else is good? The my tank? flamer. Oh, no. <laughs> my flamer dude is awesome. So my flamer dude is going to... Oh, oh. He's going to move this way. Up to here. Over he comes. Over it comes. These are not particularly good in combat. They are not. I mean, they're Space Marines, so what have they got? They've got two attacks each, but no AP, so not particularly good in combat. They're not that dangerous to a vehicle. No. And if they combat me, they're not shooting me. Yeah, you can't. You never get to combat and shoot <laughs> with the, the same, same action. It's yeah. an either or. Okay, so I'm going to melt the heads. Yep. So uh, it's 12 attacks with a heavy flamer hitting on fours, because that's my quality. Yep. Oh. oh, that's better look. Oh, dear. So this was AP1. I've got four here. That means five here. So you got seven, seven saves. Uh, so AP1. So I am on a three up with that squad. I have failed three of them. So we're just going to take a model off. And carry the two damage over to the other one. Yeah. So that's, I've just left his one wound there. Boom. So. Okay. That, that was not unit. good. Dislike that. Um, so I am going to... So your armies are a lot less heroic than in 40k. You, ca you can't shoot and charge and fight. Yeah, yeah. And it's, it's all about, and it's very much designed that way, it's, it's a really simple game. Mm. Uh, these guys are going to... How many wounds have they got? These weapons teams are tough three. Tough three. Mm. And you didn't really have a sword, though. No, I'm not quite in range of it either, which is a bit annoying. Um, I can't deal enough damage to that, so I think what we're going to do is move these. Did you see guys. your wizarding was dangerous? My wizarding is pretty dangerous. Um, I am going to move move twelve round that here. Way. Yeah, I want to try and get out of the way. Mm. No, I'm just going to move the six. I can't bridge the gap of getting somewhere, and I really want to get them to combat. But I fear they're just going to get shot up. But if I shoot them with the... I'm not shooting something else, right? Yeah. I'm going to move them... Hmm. To within 12. Is that, yeah, that's what you want to know, gonna, right? I'm going to move six forwards yeah, okay. and use some of my magic. And do some wizarding. And attempt to put some wounds on some stuff. Their guns are just not particularly rapid fire enough to be hurting stuff. Uh, let's do some wizarding. Uh, I am going to... Touch your forehead with two fingers and kill people. There we go. Am I within six of stuff? I'm within six of that. And I'm not quite within six there. So I'm just going to go for that one. I am going to try a rage burst on the sentinel. Okay. So this is a six plus psychic power. Let's see if it works. And so you need works, a six. Um, I need to roll a five because I get to add my psycho level, which is which one. Which was one, yeah. And if I make it, you take five hits with AP2. All right. Come on. That's a two. That's a two. So he has failed that. Then they're just going to fire their pop shots. We're going to stick them into those, I think. Cool. Uh, so we've got three normal guns. Mm -hmm. They have hit twice. So that's uh, two saves, no AP. And I've got defense five. Yep. So I fail those. And then the librarian has an attack himself. He's hit you AP1. Needing a six? No. So, so that's three. Kill so a base. member of the squad. Good, good. They did something. Ow. All right. He's Over to you. Over to me. Uh, I think they better shoot. Yeah, you don't want to be getting to my. I think I better put this the other way. Actually, now I come to think about uh -huh, it. This yeah, guy might have had a lot of side issue. <laughs> All right, so did they have three shots each? Three shots each. Three such shots each. These two are going to act. They're going to shoot at those guys. Three shots each. Hitting on fives, I seem to remember. Yeah. Five. Oh, that's four hits. 
Don't like that. Four and AP2. AP2. So these only start with a defense of three, so I'm down to fives. Ooh! Ooh. <laughs> you lose three. So I have lost all of the squad other than Librarian, who takes two wounds. Uh, takes one wound, which was left over. Uh, so he's on no, two No, one of them passed. There. He only took three. Ah, okay. That's he's fine. Not wounded. So the Librarian is not wounded. Uh, usually you take a quality test because you've gone down to one model. But when he goes down to one model, he's a hero. He then doesn't have to take the chest. Because he's a hero. He's, he counts as he's a unit on his own now. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, over to somebody else. You, uh, let's see. That was my ship. Yeah, who are we doing next? Mm. I've got a Thunder Hammer. You do. From have my, um, my Blood Assault Squad. NG Hammer, really good versus a squad of men. But again, he's not quite going to get there this turn. I think I am going to... He's going to run back here. Yeah? He's going to run back here and, and that grab that objective. Because this is an objective game. It's only a four-turn game. Yeah. And Kaiser's pretty slow at getting across the table. So I'm going to go back there and attempt to secure that objective with him. Over to you. Well, now that you've just drawn my attention to the fact that it's a four-turn game. Yeah, yeah. Only if this is turn two, but end of yeah. this, we're halfway through. So I think I need to, I need to move my six inches over here. Whoop. So I'm going to move my six inches over here like that. And I'm going to shoot. I don't really, mm, I can't shoot with that. I'll throw it through my own guy. If I'd have gone that way, would that have been different? I was here, wasn't I? Yep. So if I go that way, six inches, I can shoot at them, right? Yep. And then. Yeah. Yeah. But I've got that this top gun thing. Is I need a I need a I need a fat target for my top gun. <laughs> <laughs> um, right. Okay. So we're going to fire the top gun at that unit over there, yep. and, and one of the paired machine guns. Machine gun over here and the laser cannon. I guess I'm gonna to have to fire those guys. Yeah, no problem. So you get minus one to hit with that one because it's fine. Because it shoots it. So let's do that there. first. Yep. So that's one hit. And one it was hit. was it AP1? I think. Oh, I so. believe so. I've made my save. You've made your save. Uh, laser cannon is gonna shoot later. Uh, these uh, dudes. Machine gun. Killing the things that can hurt it. Uh, two hits with the machine gun, AP1. AP1. Oh, one of them has failed, so that's him dead. Um, and then the laser cannon hits. Oh, AP this is deadly three. Is what was the AP? Laser cannon three, and it's deadly three, so I'll kill him. And yes. he's gone. And then the top gun over there, two shots with blast six. Yep. And I get two hits. Oh. Six so hits at AP six hits. two. Six hits AP two, so I'm on a two, I'm on a four up. And I failed one, two, three, four of them, so that's killed a dude and wounded another dude. Oh my dear. So we are gonna lose that guy. Oh, it is not looking good for the poor blood marines here. They need to make a play here. Need to get back in the fight, I feel. Okay. So you're Over missing to... heavy weapons, it feels like. You you don't it's, have the fire. It's because protection. I decided to make the army up using my Primaris Marines. And Primaris Marines don't really have many heavy weapons, so I had Ooh. the Eradicators, and certainly in my model collection. That's why I took this thing, because it's slightly bigger, but they've got a lot of anti-infantry stuff, but it's all short range. Mm. But I wanted to do that because it was, it made for a dynamically different army oh, to no, the guard. It, yeah, yeah, definitely. So I am, because you have moved a bit closer here. Are you within 12? Yeah, I'm going to run you're over gonna and me. Oh, you're going to punch you. me in the head. Yeah, yeah. So he gets there, which is fine, and then the other ones have to be within two inches to be able to hit, so they're fine there. Right. So this is my other squad that can actually hurt his thing, and I'm playing Blood Marines here. Please so don't hurt my thing. Charging stuff is what they're good at. Right. So yeah. let's see. So we've got our Blood Prime Master here, who I've given the, war, the Judge um, character, can I like upgrade, which gives mm -hmm. him War Charms, gives him and his unit plus one attack when they charge. They are the Blood Marines, and they have the Furious Rule, which gives them an extra attack when they charge. Uh, so, I'm going to use my Relic Sword, which starts with two attacks, and then gains 
So those extra two. So this guy's only hitting on three up because I couldn't afford the upgrade to make him hit on twos. But he's hit four, four times. times with AP2. And this is deadly three. Uh, AP2. AP2. So I'm vehicle with defense of two up. Yep. So that goes to four up. Yep. And I fail two and take six, six damage. damage. Oh. oh, how many has he got to start 12. with? 12. So that stings. That stings, and we'll see how much damage the other guys can do. So they're the aggro squad. They are each armed with dual energy fists. Dual energy fists? Yeah. So can I have two more dice, please? Oh, my days. So two dudes are putting out ten attacks. Really? Yeah, they are. So this is where all my points have been spent. Right, <laughs> okay. Ooh, lots of twos there. And they hit on three, even though they've got dual they energy fists. They have hit on threes, and they are AP... Four. AP four. But only does one damage a hit. But you always succeed on a six, did you say? Always earlier? succeed on a six. And so I've got save. six saves to make? Yep. I need one of these to still be in the game, because I've got twelve hits. Six dice. No sixes. Oh, Boom. oh I wasn't expecting that. I, I I wasn't expecting numbers like that. No, no, that I wasn't my... expecting my dude to hit all four of his attacks. Oh, that is, I needed that. It was going south pretty quickly there. That mixed there. things up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have got some flame over here for you. you got some, oh, well, thank you. We can see the fact that I haven't painted the turret yeah, yeah, we want to hide that on camera. Okay, that was good for me. Look at you, you're all fizzy now, aren't yeah, oh, you? Yeah, 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 it was going Whoa. bad, but now it's going good. Okay, that was your action. That was my action. I've Do I get to fight back even on lead? Um, no, because I attack first, because I charge. Cool, but it was worth asking. Yep. Uh, so these guys are going to get pasted now, aren't they? So they're going to move this way. He's so that they can get death, some... Yeah. Well, I've got a couple of plasma guns in here as oh, well. Oh, yeah. Though. So I've got seven rifles, and the pistol is basically the same, presumably, just shorter range. Yes, I believe so. Yeah, it is. So eight rifle shots. Pew, 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 pew. That is four hits. Ooh. Any ones? Any ones? Yes, we I've got, got one. two ones. It's killed a dude. Oh, sweet. That that takes an awful lot of the power and out of that And the plasma gun, one hit. <laughs> one hit. That's got high AP. Hasn't Yay. failed that, so that guy takes another wound. Uh, the uh, plasma gun was uh, no extra damage yet. No extra damage. Very few things have deadly. Like in my army, it's literally that yep. guy's sword and the three melter guns I had there. Okay, so that was that squad. Yep, um, I only have this big thing left. So it is going to... I think it's going to charge in and attempt to kick your one to death. Is it good at fighting? It's Well, I'm going to actually have a look. It looks like it's good at fighting, doesn't it? Well, no, It's got seven attacks at AP1. Not oh, yeah. brilliant, but that, okay. That, that's, that's a lot better than I am at fighting. Yeah. Um, or I've got a 12 attack... Mm, I've got a 12 attack flamer. I'm going to use that instead. It is a shooting unit. So this guy is going to move up to here. Yeah. Oh, no, it can only move six and still shoot. So it's going to have to just move there, and then it's going to shoot that. But you've got about half cover there, because the model leans forward quite a lot. So I've got minus one to hit you. Uh, so I'm going to fire 12 shots into that, and then I've got a slightly longer range grenade launcher, which is going to fire over at those. Okay. So we'll do the grenade launcher first. It's got one attack at blast three. So it's a hit. There's, only, there's two only two models in the so unit, so can only do two hits. I'm uh, needing no sixes. All oh, right. Well, I take one hit. One hit. Okie dokie. Um, and then I've got my 12 shots with my incendiary cannon, but there's cover there. So I'm hitting on fours here. Okay. Can I have two more dice, please? Certainly can. There we go. Hitting on fours. Oh, that's a good roll. Uh, one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight saves, please, at minus one. I can take one. Take one for yourself. Saves at minus one. So this is still defense two. So that's up to three. I fail... Two. Fail two. So we've taken two damage over here. This thing has six hits. It by has way. six, yes. Whereas yours had a lot more, didn't it? Mine's got nine, yeah. Yeah. So are you putting number of wounds left or not? wounds taken. Okay, I've got wounds left. <laughs> All right, I'll do, uh, do it the other way then. Uh, so that's four, and that's two. Because that helps us track when you need to take um, Absolutely. Uh, yep. pinning yep. checks and stuff. It, it, it generally makes more there. sense. I just was generally making. 
Ming okay, Lester. that's me done. So you've got all your activations. Well, I've it's just these squads. two squads. Yes. So this squad is going to run. Remember, if you've got your commander out, he has that ability to let something move he's faster. Ah, he's still in there. Yeah. So these guys will run up oh, to here. Oh, they've got to the objective. That was the. I had to take the opportunity to try and kill the. Tank. Yes, definitely, definitely. Uh, they've done that. Now the this lot then. It's going to race to here. Heading forward to this, so it double moves, so no shooting luck. Hang on, it's only turn two, isn't it? It's only turn two. You've got I've got to move. deal with that. Yeah, they are. That, that'll just chop, chop this up, so I'm going to move to here and take my shots yep. there. All right. Um, light APC. So the laser machine gun has got three attacks uh, on fours. One hit. One hit. AP3 though, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, which I failed. So this guy's down to one wound. And the machine guns, I get two hits at AP1. Freeze needed. Oh, has that gone? It's just him. Yeah. And these things are blooming deadly. They've got two flamers on each one as well. Now, if I disembark these guys. Yeah, they can move only six in the turn they disembark. And they can disembark others. from a moving vehicle? They can. After it's moved, they can get out, but they only ever move six. And then the commander can move them an extra six? He can. He has his ability. Uh, which basically so they could move, move 12. Further. Yep. So I'll put that squad there. Got them there. And they could have shot when they were here. Is that right? Uh, they can shoot before or after their movement. So... Basically, they get out, they move six, they shoot, so they'd shoot from about here, and then they'd move their other six. Then they move their other six, so they're going to shoot back here, yep. then. So it's two, four, six, seven rifles. Can I have another one for the one more pistol for, for the yep. sergeant? And uh, what are you firing at? This guy. This guy there. Big sword dude. Big sword dude. Should I be firing over there? No, he's going to chop things up, though. He's, he is. He is he, the most deadly thing I've got. Yeah, yeah. They're all going to shoot him. He's going to, like, kill two of them a turn, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, he's got a thunder hammer, so he's actually good versus squads. He's got a blast uh, combat. Oh, right. So he's not bad. Okay, well, I've got three hits from the flashlights. Yep. So I've got two up saves versus them. I so failed one. one. I've got a bolt pistol, which doesn't hit. Oh, maybe it does from my hero. No, he's quality four. Uh, from his oh plasma pistol, Ooh. but it missed. Good. Um, and then there's a uh, two flamers. I do fear the flamers here, which gets at six. So I need twelve dice again. Yeah. Six. So I'm gonna need another four over here, Mike. Another four. That's never good, is it? But I'm hitting on five. Yeah. One, two, three, which is three. right on the money. No AP, I'm guessing. Uh, from the regular flamer, doesn't look like it. He's on one wound left. Oh, he's oh, still in it. Yeah. <laughs> He's still in it! But he has to make a um, <coughs> excuse me, he has to make a morale check now because he's taken half his wounds or more. So he's again, he's got free up quality, but he's fearless, so he gets plus one. So on a two, he's okay. He's beautiful. Yep. Is that the end of round two? That is the end of round two. It is not looking good for our heroic space You're marines. You're running out of space marines. You have taken control of that objective. I now have control of this one, and I still have control of that one. And I had control you of had this control one from of earlier. That one. So it's two each. But two apiece. I only have like four models left. <laughs> <laughs> it is also a four turn game. Yes, exactly. All right. Okay, so. We got activations galore here. I am going to. You're going first because you have you. Because I have much less model than you, basically. <laughs> You've got four single model units. I have four single model units. So you I did fear... blow up my battle tank, though. Yeah, and it's what do I activate first? They're all reasonably similar in survivability, other than this big one. Um, I am going to send this guy because, as I said, weapons are. A weapon is really good versus certain things and not particularly mm. good versus others. His is great for chopping up tanks, less good for chopping up these. So this guy has a thunder hammer, which is a blast weapon in combat. Mm -hmm. So he is just going to run over here and thump this big squad. So, uh, there's no closing fire. I don't get an overwatch no, or any of that no foolishness. No overwatch or anything like that. Okay. So do, I, do, I, do I pile in? Do I? Uh, you do. You get to pile in a couple of inches. Yeah. 
Uh, so so uh, this guy has, where is he? He has his energy hammer, he has two attacks to start with, and because he's a blood marine, he's furious, mm -hmm. he got three attacks. Each of these that hit turns into three hits, though, because he's got blast. Wow, okay, yeah, I should have shot him. And but I've missed, missed all three all times, three oh no! <laughs> Does everybody fight back? So you can either choose to fight back or not. Sometimes you wouldn't want to fight back because you want to fight later on in the turn. Once you've fought once in a turn, you only hit on sixes in any future combats. But in this instance, you probably want to fight back because you're likely to kill me. Ten. Oh, I can't believe that went so badly wrong. So the sergeant has a close combat weapon, so he gets an extra attack. Yes. Effectively, he's got attacks two instead of attacks one. Yep. So this is 11 attacks. 11 hit on five. attacks. That is five hits. Five hits. Okay, here we go. No one rolled. I'm okay. I'm still in the fight. Uh, hang on. The captain. Oh, he's has in got there. an energy yeah. sword, so he's got attacks two and rending. Yeah, so sixes become AP four. With and he thing. hits on a four instead of a five. Ooh, no sixes, luckily. No sixes, so this is it, just AP1. So we're looking at threes. Yay! Oh, he's out of there. He sliced him up. <laughs> On my own turn, I dun, lose dun. my dude. I am the commander. I've got a sweet red hat. Yep. Okay, over to your activation, because that was my activation that went so well. Right. Well, uh, I'm going to activate the tank. Ah, excellent. It smoulders. Boo! I'm going to activate, oh, Flamer Team. Oh, here he goes. Three, he that sentinel, you can six, tell. nine, twelve. Activation. Wait. Uh, am I moving? I'm going to, I'm going to move it six inches that way. Hokey dokey. It's got four hits uh, remaining out of six, so it's yep. okay, right? Yeah, it's not too bad. So, um, what am I, I'm burning this. Umbre. Has he only got one hit left? He's got one hit left, but he does have a two-up save, so... And this is an EAP-1. This guy's got three hits. He has three hits. I'm going to get six hits at AP-1. I am going to kill that guy. Because if I kill that guy, I think I've won. Yeah, I do as well. And that's a lot of four-ups. I'm just going to make all my saves, though. That's, so that's, that's my eight. battle plan. Eight. You're going to make all the saves? Yeah, if I have two more dice. None, no ones are showing up here. Oh, no, it's AP1, though, isn't it? So yeah. I don't need to roll any ones or twos here. I'm just... Oh, there, oh wow. I, oh, wow. I, I've lost five wounds. <laughs> I think you want some of this fire fluff for this guy. He's a tower of... I mean, fire. he did chop up a tank, but now he's he did. gone. <laughs> he did, but unfortunately his honor guard got, got so shot So I have off. two models left. Oh, what are we doing? So I think we are going to move the librarian next. And so he did I fail to roll it onto round three? So I'm oh, getting yeah, sloppy yeah. luck. Oh. This guy is going to... Prove that he can win. Yeah. He's going to charge them. So can he do his wizarding before he, he does that? He can do Because you might want to blast Yeah, I'm going this. to attempt to blow that up before I go. Uh, so I am going to attempt to wizardy them. Uh, which is going to be, I'm going to do the same as last time, the Rage Burst. So you need a five, five, right? Yes. It's there, so it takes five hits at AP2. Uh, right, so that's four up saves then. My two four up four. saves. I take two damage. Oh. So I'm below half, yes, so, so what does that make mean? a quality check to see if you're pinned. Uh, my quality is not my strong suit in the game. No, guard. exactly. Pinning guardsmen is important. I fail it. Fail, do I so. like Walker quality four? So he has a pinning marker there, and which means next time he gets to activate, he just loses the pinning marker. That's Miss a go. Done. Yeah, and then this guy charges over here into them. Right, they don't like that. They don't like that. He's going they to don't like that at all. first. So he has, he's only got a quality of four up because he's the cheaper touch style space marine because he had the scouting. Mm -hmm. uh, but he has three attacks base plus one for being a blood marine who's charging. Uh, so I've hit three times. No AP though, because I couldn't afford a decent weapon on him. Right, these got five up defenses. I make two saves, so only one damage. Oh. Two wounds remaining of his down yep. to one. I fight back. You do. My defense teams have uh, crews have attack two. So, so there's two four crews attacks there. Back, I mean. So four attacks back. I get two hits. Two hits. Oh, I've got two ups. I'm okay. Didn't you say it was the lighter marine? Oh yeah, so he's failed one. Ah, oh, 
You got a cheap marine. Yeah. You pay the price. So we have a drawn combat there because we've each done one wound to each other. Mm -hmm. So nobody has to take a morale check. And because I haven't routed you at all, I have to fall back an inch so your unit's free to do what it wants on its turn. Like shoot him. Like shoot him, which is not what I wanted here. I'm going to shoot him. I was really hoping to do more wounds than you so I can <laughs> route you. Yes. Yeah, I, I rolled a couple of fires there. Didn't yeah. Right? So shooting wise, we get three hits. Three and these hits. were AP something. Two, I think. AP yeah. two. Oh, oh <laughs> boom. <laughs> this has not been your day. This was this your game. Not... Manic made both of the army lists. Yeah, yeah. I'm not leveraging <laughs> anything. <laughs> I really thought my two up saves would steam me in a lot more stead than they have done. But this army's got a lot of AP. It has got a reasonable amount of AP. And the heavy flamer is so good. AP yeah. one really lifts it. And the tank is just super powerful. The as you've seen, the vehicles in your army are where the power is. They've got yeah. a lot of the better weapons. Yeah. And they've got higher quality. I mean, so, Mike, you got one model left. I got one, but it's a good model. It's the best model on the table. But so, it, you have to hold four objectives by the end of the next yeah. round. So it is going to move this way six. Because I've already got this objective and you're pinned here. So I don't think you can get anything to this to take it off me. Oh. So I'm, I've got that one. Is, is my thinking, because oh. you can't move with that one and they're not quick So you enough. think you're still in the game here? I'm thinking, I'm thinking I can play for a draw here. I hold this one draw. still. So I'm going to attempt to get rid of this squad and one then go. take that objective. That's my game plan. So let's see, I am how far away from that? I'm 12 away from that, so this turn I need to not move and shoot everything I've got of this squad in the hopes of pinning them, is my plan. So he is just going to sit there and unload onto them. Now you know that they can move six inches anyway because of the commander. If they're pinned, they don't get to do anything. And Including him. And uh, I put out a lot of shots, I could kill that whole squad here. Mm. So he is just going to pivot around so his weapons can see and then Sweet. unload. Um, so I've got 12 attacks from my incendiary cannon. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Three more dice, please. Three more dice are yours, sir. And you hit on threes, do you? I hit on threes. So that I is a lot of hits. Missed three times, so you've got that many saves at AP1. Right, so, so six is go. here. Six is here. Ooh, three. That looks that. good, but these are all dead. Yep. That's six out so far. Six out so far, and then I've got my grenade launcher, which pop, pop. is one shot, but it's blast three. It's a hit, so three, so three more hits. hits. No AP on this one. Five. So I've lost six so far, yep. and then another two. So eight guys. Eight guys. So I've got uh, two flame bros. And the commander remain. And then I have to hope that he fails his quality check. So when you've got a character in a unit, they always get to use his quality for quality checks, uh, for um, leadership checks. That stings. Uh, so what do I need here? Big six or something? Big six. I mean, is it too bad? Well, no, it'll be whatever your quality is, sorry. It's not going to be too bad. It's not going to be the... two, so you are pinned. <sighs> oh, that hurts. That hurts. So I'm going to double check the rules as much as they are for what you can do. Because you, if you could just quickly have a look to see what your leader's power is. It's, the, it's that uh, double time. Yeah, what does it actually say on the rule? On the rule for double time, once per activation, before attacking, pick one friendly unit within 12 inches of this model, which may move up to six. Okie dokie, and then I'm just going to see what happens when you fail. Uh, they must stay idle, which means do nothing um, on their action, so. They do activate then. So they do activate, so it would whether we think he can order them to move or not is completely What well, could he order somebody time. else to move? I think he could probably order somebody else to move, but maybe not his squad because they're pinned, so mm. it wouldn't make sense for them to move. Yeah. That okay. seems like a fair compromise. So um, these guys are going to run. Yep. And they're going to run 12. Oh, I see there. what you're doing here. <laughs> <laughs> could, you, could you move them for me or yeah, mark no them? Problem. I've got a mark there and they are jumping here. This is the thing, I have very few models left, but it is an objective game and the fact that you keep control of an objective and the four turns is pretty critical here. So they have got to there. Uh, I have no more units to activate, obviously. Right, so that can activate and they can move another six. Yep, so they, they haven't acted and they lose the pin. Another six, so they are to there now. 
Oh dear, this is going to come down to some clutch rolls on this next turn, I think. Um, and then this unit... Going to go and secure that. <laughs> well, they've got the plasma guns, so I wonder whether they move six and shoot up yeah, there. But my own guy's in the way, there. though, so I think not. I think I'm going to move to here. Oh, so, move blocking. So a operate. line of meat in the way. There's some meat here. <laughs> There's some blockage. I think this is meaning my, my path to victory is gone, but my path to a draw is still there. Is it? Well, if I can keep control of this, I've got two weapons on my thing. A pinned unit cannot gain control of an objective. So if I can pin both of these, which with your quality is, is pretty reasonable to assume, or is a possibility. But that's within 12. Oh, no. So I need to pin three units. Okay. <laughs> this is getting bad. <laughs> All right. The downside is you've got one model. I have one model. And the upside is you get to go first. I do. And you have a clear path to not losing. Yeah, I need to... Pin three units. Pin three units with my two shots. I think mm. you have three weapons. I have only two weapons. Right. And... Oh. Oof. So, over here, where are we thinking? Because move blocking would work here. I can fill that space with can that. Can you shoot button. and then move? I can't. It's move and then shoot, I believe. I'm going to double check that because I haven't played this too much. So, let's see. Uh, can shoot after moving is the rule. I think I forgot to move this as well. Oh, you three. did, yeah. That was another 12-inch move. That, that was, yeah. Made. Quickly shovel so that around. that in there. Yeah. Does that, start, does that look any better? Screw this, I'm going to keep hold of my one of <laughs> You're going to keep it. <laughs> so right. what I'm going to do is I am going to move this guy back to here. Yeah. I'm going to flamer that squad. Yeah. And I am going to grenade launcher your commander squad because I'd like to, Eliminate like to him. screw him over, basically. Yeah, okay. So the grenade launcher at the commander squad is a hit, so he takes three hits on that squad. Three hits, and um, it's five up save. I pass one, so the two, two assistants dead. die. Which annoyingly means you can't be pinned because you're <laughs> a commander on his own. And then- 12 if flame I can shots, have Nine it? dice, please. Nine dice, uh, that is five, and that is four. Here there we, go. we go. Looking for three. Going down fighting. Uh, oh. oh, that's a good hit roll. Shall I save with that many? Yeah, there you go, go. that many, and this, this is a minus saves. one, so sixes. Uh, one says two, four, six, eight, nine that. Nine dudes gone. One plasma gun, no, one sergeant, lonely sergeant. One remains. lonely sergeant has to make a uh, pinning check. Pinning check, which is a five up, I think, it's that quality, yep. right? He, he fails it. is down, there mark. he goes. So I'm this objective anyway. is mine, I that think. That is your objective. <laughs> Uh, so for the, this was ten. Look, we're getting really oh, sloppy. Yeah. Uh, so you know, I'll claim that objective. And, yeah, uh, he's on this one's already mine. You haven't got any more. So at the end of the round, end of the game, it's three to one. It is three to one. Thank you for the game. Good game, sir. If you're still here and you're looking for ways to support the channel, there's obviously a lot of ways down in the description, but a key way is to use our affiliate links to Whaling Games and others. You buy your models from them, it doesn't cost you a penny more, and we earn a little bit of commission. Thank you. There we go. Mate, I enjoyed it. Yeah, how, how quick is that for a, a game? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but things like... You had Blood Angel chapter tactics. I wasn't. I wasn't ready for that. Ah, so basically, when you make up your Prime Marine army, mm. so on the app, uh, you get to select whether your basic Prime Marines or there are Dark Angels, Blood Angels, Space yeah, Wolves, yeah, yeah. With different names, or Death Watch, Space Vikings, so. and they basically tack one keyword onto each of your units. So Furious, I gained, and they charge me a few extra points. So a Blood yeah. Prime Marine squad costs. 10 points more than a just basic prime marine squad. Yeah. That makes them slightly better in combat. But so they're just a charging you points marine. for it. They're charging you points for it, it's weird. Isn't that, isn't that yeah. nice? Yeah. And it's the Dark Angels, I think they get a slightly bit better shooting thing is their thing. And I think they might cost a few more points because making your shooting better is more powerful than making your close combat Especially better. if you take a real gun. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Uh, right. So yeah, everything is charged points. There's no free things. Everything has a points cost worked out prior and is constantly rebalanced if stuff appears to be out of whack. There's kind of like a big yeah. group where you 
submit your results to and say, oh, this seems really good versus that. That's it, it's the, the weapons are really good for the thing they're good at. So yes. if I find my giant flavour at your squad, it just evaporates them. Mm, but, yeah, I was surprised at yeah. how, how much it evaporates yeah, exactly. them. Yeah, exactly. And firing las cannons, which do multi damage of big tough things, just takes them out. Just takes one of those guys out of shit. Yeah, yeah. No, it, it adds some granularity. Yeah. It had fun. Your big tank felt dangerous, yeah, but the big dangerous. choppy dudes ran in and punched it to bits. Exactly. The units did what you think that they should do. Yeah. I, I, I very much enjoyed it for that. And good. guard squads just got wiped out when a real weapon that's going to yeah. kill an infantry Point a real weapon at them and murderise them. Yeah, yeah. All right. Thank you for that, Mike. I enjoyed it. Good, good.